we'll be tying the Ornberg, which is a wet fly for trout and bass with the fly assembly kit from Shore Fishing. In every kit you will find the pattern of the flies you want to tie. In French, both in French and in English, you will have your hook. You have six of them, actually they are Mustad 9671 in number six. You get your tying threads. They are Uni 6 out black. You cut it there. And your first step will be to take the Uni Miller, which is actually a silver tinsel. You cut maybe two and a half times the length of your hook for, uh, for the tinsel. This will be enough. Tie it down and you bring a thread actually to around you know you leave just a little bit of, of place in front of the hook to be the ankle at the end you turn your tensile all the way to the front this will add a little bit of flash to this fly you secure it right up front Next step will be the underwing, which will be, or the inner wing, in fact, which will be yellow calf tail. So you take just a little piece of it, and you can see that from the part I have, I will be able to tie a whole lot of fly with this, not only the six uh, that is uh, advertised on the package. And that is the great part of this kit, actually. You got a lot more material than what you pay for. So I stacked it. If you don't stack it, it is all right. This fly will be doing the exact same job. This is for, just for the human eye, actually. So I tie it down about the length of the hook. So I stop right at the bend and I am tying it all the way to the front. As this would be my base for my ankle later. Next step. You take mallard flank feather, you take two of them, and you will be removing, you put it sideways and you will be removing all of the feather that you won't use, just like this. So this leaves you one side, you do the exact same with the second feather. You can actually use your first feather as a template. So you, you lined up the tip and you pull back all the fiber that you won't need. So you can put them both at the same time or one at a time. I usually tie them both at the same time. Just make sure that you hold them sideways. They are on the side of the hook and not on top or bottom. You tie them good, you get back to your tying point, trim off the excess, and now the ackle. So you have grizzly ackle, great, great quality grizzly ackle actually. As this is a wet fly, I want to use the bottom of this feather, trim off the excess, I will tie it right here. Now I go to the front with my tying thread and actually I am preparing my head. So I fold my hackle so it all point backwards and I start doing my wrap with it. And I keep folding it back. Usually I'm doing between four and five turns. As this is a wet fly, you know this hackle is, is not as stiff as, let's say, a dry fly hackle, but it is still quite stiff. So 
I broke down my thread. I just take it back where I was, just like this, perfect. Now I will be doing my head and my whip finish. Last step would be to put a drop of glue on the head. I use clear head cement. And this fly is actually ready to fish. So you can preen the mallard feather together so they will look just like on your package, but actually when it will be wet, it will fish anyways. So the Arnberg using the fly tying kit from shore fishing.